here is a framus uh, made in Germany, actually in the heart of Bavaria. Sometimes, I think, in the 50s, maybe early 60s, not really sure. Um, framus uh, was, or Framus, was a company that got started just after the war, um, I think in somewhere called Beirut, um, which was a center of music. And a lot of the industry was leaving due to wartime shortages, etc., etc. However, the fellow that started the company managed to get permission to set up a factory, and he acquired a lot of the luthiers who were, uh, amongst other things, uh, high quality violin makers. So a lot of these Framus guitars um, in the early days were made by extremely skilled luthiers and each luthier was um, allocated an instrument to build I guess um, they're as far as I know they're solid wood I don't know what the wood is in the face of this guitar uh, I just can't tell you because I don't know it may be spruce um, but there is a very good website on Framus, their vintage Framus website. Um, it's got a lovely, looks like flame maple back. As far as I can tell, this is all solid timber. There are no breaks. Mar uh, there are quite a few play marks on it, but there, there are no uh, technical issues. The neck uh, is straight and very playable. As you can see, however, the paint finish on the neck and the lacquer um, is uh, showing cracking. It doesn't come off uh, and it doesn't really affect the playability. However, were I to keep this guitar on, I might get that neck, you know, refinished. Uh, having said that, it doesn't affect the playability. Good strong tuners. Um, three on a side. Uh, I've just tuned the guitar, I think. Uh, to my keyboard because uh, I'm being lazy I could have used the electronic tuner inside the guitar you can see a label uh, and the label actually says made in Germany Framus trademark uh, and there, there's another trademark on the body of the guitar just here Framus the, um, this type of label was altered uh, and by the mid-60s, I think, again, I think, the labels had a serial number, uh, which also could help you to date it, or would certainly help you to date it. The luthier's name, uh, and I, I believe they may have even been signed off, uh, which is why I think this label predates those years. Having said all that, this is a guitar that's nylon strung, um, it's uh, typically uh, best used uh, with its present uh, string setup um, to play classical type of music on. I don't play classical. I'm not so good at these things, but uh, let's see if I can get something out of here. up here on the 12th fret it's very true um, my hands don't work like they used to um, it's got a very rich tone Not 
really an awful lot more I can tell you about it. It's well built. Uh, it's still um, uh, not showing any failure at any of the joints. Uh, the binding is all in perfectly good condition. The rosette, uh, which looks to be a piece that was fitted afterwards, it's not in Tarsio, I don't think, is showing some crazing. But this is, um, I'm thinking, a 50 to maybe even 60 year old, 50 year old guitar. And I think it plays pretty great. I did have a plectrum around here somewhere. Um, oh, there it is. And so it, it's probably more useful for people viewing this guitar just to hear the tone. Fixed bridge, uh, solid as. I mean, the thing, you could play baseball with this. It's a strong, well-built guitar. you some idea of this. A nice guitar. I'm selling a number of my guitars. I'm down to my final ten, I think, um, simply because um, I have some physical issues and uh, it's embarrassing to me um, to play these things in public uh, and uh, they're not getting played. They really need to be in the hands of somebody who will enjoy them as much as I have. So, thanks for looking. Framus classic or classical guitar made in Bavaria, in the heart of Bavaria, sometime in the 50s. Thanks. Uh, thanks for looking. Bye for now.